Hi everyone and welcome back to another tech video. I'm Rolando and on today's video I will be teaching you a quick fix for problems that you might have with your Docker containers on Unraid when they do not finish a task or become unresponsive. And if you are a returning viewer or a new one, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell icon, that way you won't miss any of my content. And now let's get started and I made this solution after dealing with this issue myself mainly with two of my apps, the first one being ncb-get and the other one being Deluge. With ncb-get, the issue that I had was it was not finishing unzipping the files after downloading and it will stay on that process. And with Deluge was that it would not download because it will get IP band errors. Every time that happened, I had to restart the dockers for them to be able to finish the process. But there is a really good tool that can be used for these problems and it's creating a script that can be run in Unraid with an app called CA User Script that can be downloaded from the community apps. The User Scripts app will run scripts on the background allowing to restart Docker containers to fix problems like the ones that I had and now instead of me having to restart the containers manually, every time it is installed, I can easily schedule the script to run whenever I want. The process is really easy and straightforward. We go to the community apps, search for the user script. We are going to select the CA user scripts and install the app. Now if we go to the settings, we can find the user scripts app there. As you can see, I have many scripts already created and to show you how this works, I'm going to delete this Deluge Restart script and redo it so this way you can see how easy it is to create a script. The first thing that we need to know is how to find the containers ID that will be used in the script and for this, we are going to open the terminal on the Unray UI and we are going to type Docker Containers LS. This will give me a list of all the containers installed in our system. At the beginning of each line, you will find the container ID and at the end, the name of that container. Keeping in mind that the container ID is assigned to the app at the moment of installation and is totally different from the image ID. And if for some reason you delete the app and decide to reinstall it later, the container ID will change. And you also will have to change it on the script for the script to continue working. Now let's create our script. And for this, we are going to click on the button where it says add new script. Now you're prompt to give it a name. And I'm going to call it Deluge Restart. And after typing the name, we just hit OK. Now if we look, we can see the script that we just created. And next to the script is a gear icon. If we hover over it, you will see that it's giving you a few options that we can click on. The first one is edit name in case you want to change the name. The second option is to add a description. This will be displayed underneath the script name and it's good to write something on it to have an idea of what the script is made for. The third option is edit script. This is the one that we are going to select in a moment because if you create a new script, this is where you will write the commands or edit them. And the last option is just delete the script. Now let's click on edit script. Now you have a blank script in which you will write the commands that you want on Ray to execute. Every script needs to start on the first line with the pound exclamation and bin bash. But as you can see, it's already pre-generated. Now, starting on the second line is where we're gonna write our commands to make the loose restart. All the commands that I'm using are on the Docker documentation page and it will be linked in the description below. First, we're gonna type Docker this will tell Unraid that we will execute a command for Docker. Next is the command that we want Docker to execute and in my case is going to be restart. And last, we will type the ID of the container that we want the command to be executed. In this case, is the Deluge ID that we can find on the terminal window that we opened earlier. So let's go to the terminal. Let's highlight the ID. Copy it. Go back to the script and paste it. And this is all it is to have the Luge restart through a simple script. Now, if you want to have a result printout on the screen after running that script, just add a third line starting with the echo command and add whatever you want to be printed out in my script. In my case, I'm going to write the Luge has been restarted. 
And once we are done writing our script, we just go to the top and click the button that says save changes. And now next to the right side of the script, you'll see a couple buttons. One says run script, the other one says run in the background. And next to that, you're going to see the scheduler. This is what we want to use to be able to run the script on the background whenever we want. If you click on it, you will see multiple options to select from, but I'm not going to go through all of them as they are really self-explanatory. So I'm going to select schedule daily as I want the luge to restart daily. This way, I know that I will avoid this error by making the container restart daily. Now let's go to the bottom and hit the apply button and we are all set. Now for the purpose of the video, I'm going to go and open Docker on a separate tab. So we go to Docker and now I'm going to open the Deluge web UI. And as you can see, Deluge is running. Now let's go back to the script and click run script. You will see a screen pops up that is running the command that we wrote in the script and also when it finished, you will see the printout that we wrote on the script saying the Lush has been restarted and that means that the Lush has been successfully restarted. If we go quickly back to the tab where the Lush was open and we hit refresh, you will see that it will hang out as the container is being restarted. If we click refresh a couple times, you will see the Lush is back up and running. And if you want, you can also check the deluge log and that way you can see exactly at what time the deluge was restarted. And this is how easy it is to fix this issue, not only with the deluge, but with other containers as well. And if this video helped you, don't forget to give it a like and also share it with other people that might have the same issue. Also leave a comment below if you have any question and also let me know what video you will want to see next on my channel. You can also follow me and write me in social media where I do extended coverage of everything that I do on my channel and I will be teasing what I'll be doing next on it. Remember to subscribe and click that notification bell. This way you won't miss any of my videos and if you want to see more videos like this, go check them out at the end of this video. Like always, thanks for watching and I will see you on my next video.